assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hola, cable amigos. Me amo Enrico y se amo Hoon. Whatever. What Henry is trying to say is welcome to another cartoon cram fest. Hey. Isn't that sitcom Supernova John Stamos from TV's Full House? Good eye, Henman. Hey, John, come on out here. John Stamos, everybody. Hey, what's with the Rent-A-Cop getup? Don't tell me. You're in Studio B filming a major motion picture about a hard-boiled security guard. With a heart of gold. Actually, I, I really am a security guard. I love these method actors. Always in character. Officer Stamos, do you copy? Stamos. We got a couple of trespassers in the vicinity of the donut table. Over. Copy. I'm on it. Stamos out. I don't get it. One day he's a huge TV star, the next day he's swinging a nightstick. You don't think that could ever happen to us, do you? Nah. Hey, hey, come back here. Those donuts are <laughs> studio property. And the super chip max. He's a burning rubber bunny with the need for speed. But he's always got time for anybody in need. Go, go, raise a rabbit with the turbo thrust. Cause those inbred foolies from the upper crust wanna catch you and stuff you, but they're way too slow. So, so go, go raise a rabbit. Go, go, go. Welcome all to the Isle of Bruce for the All Island All Open All the Time Open, where all eyes are on French newcomer Brigitte Bounet. Trust me, folks, this will be a very heated matchup. Bonjour, Mademoiselle. Catch me if you can, race ready. Sassy. And they're off! She's enchanting. I'd like to see more of her. Then I suggest you get moving! Ready or not, here I come. I strongly urge you to keep your mind on the rally and off Miss Frenchie. Oh, Max, where could such an angel have come from? <laughs> Poor race rabbit. Thanks to our little bionic bunny, he's going to lose this rally. <laughs> and his pelt. <laughs> Careful with the steering. So what's the plan? First, I go like this. <laughs> then, in a mere five minutes, our explosive little friend here will make Race Rabbit's heart go boom, boom, shaboom! I say it's destiny. You're not going to pick her up, are you? I'm going to give it a shot, Max. Excusez-moi, love. May I be of some assistance? Oh, <laughs> 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 
Well, maybe not a total genius. You are so... How you say? Big and strong. I do work out a bit. My senses detect an evil electronic presence inside the car. Don't be so hard on yourself, Max. Now who's up for a picnic? Race, I strongly suggest we skip the picnic. Race? Race? Mon cher, je vous aime comme les rayons du matin. Chaud, rayon. He's talking funny. <laughs> it's a French, you nit. Say something French back to him. Uh, French toast? Max. Good show, Race. Now you're burning up the track. Well, Max, I am in a hurry. Race, you can't be serious. This will only take a minute. Make that 20 seconds. Do you, Brigitte Bounet? Take Race Rabbit forever and ever and ever. I do! And do you, Race, take Brigitte forever and ever and ever? Come on, Race! We don't have the time! Just say I do! But I'm afraid I don't. Where is the earth shattering kaboom? Oh, oh poo. Gabby McShelter what here and Cribbins, what a finish we have in store for you. But one still wonders. Where is Race Rabbit? Grace, when did you realize she was a robot? Was it my senses? Her terrible French? No, Max, it was the dropping she left on the seat. Double A's. Huh. I suppose I'll never find my true love. Chin up, Race. Never say never. Just say punch, punch it. it. Master H is what they call me. My fresh rhymes sting like a bumblebee. And that's the straight 411, G. Henry, refresh my memory. Why are we making complete buffoons out of ourselves? June, yo! If we don't want to end up working security, we've got to, you know, diversify. Yeah, but as rappers? Word. A lot of entertainers have revived their careers through hip-hop. Respected stars like Shaquille O'Neal and primetime Deion Sanders. What's that awful racket? My main man, Buster Rhymes. I invited him to drop by and give us a listen. Buster, sup, G? How you living, you know what I'm saying? All right, so Henry, let's check some of that flavor you've been hyping. They call me Master H, because my skills is all the rage. My sound is more than profound. I taught Dennis Rodman how to rebound. <clears throat> That's really bad. You hear that, June? Buster thinks we're kicking the bad flavor. Uh, Enrico, don't think that's what he meant. Oh. Dateline, first aid kit general hospital, where the chief is discharged after a debilitating injury. All ready to go home, Chiefy? No thanks to any of you. Hey, you think you got hurt? You should see the wood chipper. Can it, Meltman? If I keep working with you clowns, I'm gonna end up with a toe tag. Oh, come on, Chief. We made one blooming mistake. It'll never happen again. Already, Freddy. Let's go. Wait! I wanna go inside the 
car. Inside! There's no room for your wheelchair. You'll be fine, Chief. No, you blockhead! Ah! Inside the car! Inside! Speed bump! Blast it! Get up! Well, at least we're near the hospital. Action League, now. Today's episode, Grief for the Chief. We find our heroes worriedly awaiting word of their squashed supervisor. Doc! Doc! Goose! I hope you're happy. The Chief's about to bite it. All we can do now is wait. Poor guy. He's the best Chiefy Weepy I ever had. I loved him like a distant cousin. He's always been there for us. Like the time I was so afraid of ceiling fans, I couldn't fly. Come on, Thunder Girl. You can do it. No, I don't want to get chopped up again. You got to fly. Remember, a quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. You're right, Chief. <laughs> I'm flying! Thunder girl, flying like thunder. Thanks to the chief bee, the best chief around. Ow, 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 ow! I'm okay! That's a beautiful memory, Thunder girl. Remember how the chief saved our lives, Stinky? Do I ever! It was our darkest hour. Saturday night and no dates! Chief, it was right cricket of you to invite us to the fights. Yeah, you're more than a chief. You're a pal. Don't mention it. Remember, a friend in need is a friend indeed. The least we can do is buy you a bag of peanuts. Oh, no, that's okay. Gotta watch the sodium. I insist. One bag of peanuts right here, mate. Here you go, Frogman. <laughs> Those were special times. I have a special chief memory, too. He helped me find myself. Well, sure. He's done that for all of us. No, I mean, really. Where am I? Help! Where am I? Flesh, you're right here. Remember, you can't see where you're going with a can on your head. Oh, hooray! I'm here! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Justice? You have a story about the Chief, too? I love that son of a biscuit. He's got to pull through. The Chief's taken a turn for the worse. I'm afraid it's only a matter of time now. Can it be? Is the League about to lose its beloved leader? Stay tuned for the action weeping conclusion of Action League now. Hey, Kablamoid, keep your hiner in the recliner. Still to come, life with Loopy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. The Chief. Sliced, diced, bashed, and smashed. As the big guy prepares to meet the bigger guy, the League gathers around to say their final farewells. Chief, I know you can't hear me, but I want you to know we've been thinking about you. Yeah, like the time we blew you up with a nuclear bomb. And the time we accidentally diced you in a food processor. <laughs> I don't believe this. His blood pressure is suddenly skyrocketing. The time with the milkshake maker. The trash compactor. The waffle iron. Ah! Blimey, the chief's come out of his deadly coma. Hooray! That's our chiefy. He's back. Gotta love him. Yeah, and you morons are in more trouble than a ballerina in a barroom brawl. Come on, chief. We're going home. No, don't touch me. No! Oopsies! The end.
Hey, Kablamsters. We're here at the La Galleria Shopping Plaza, getting ready for an exclusive public appearance. In other words, we're shaking hands with people at some cheesy mall. Henroid, get with the program. If we want a long career in showbiz, we've got to extend the Henry and June brand. Now buck up. The only thing we have to worry about is whether there's enough security out there to protect us from our legions of adoring fans. You're right, June. Let's get out there and kablow the roof off this joint. June, where is everyone? Relax, Henry. These are the real, hardcore fans. We're solidifying our base. Attention, shoppers. Say Cheese is now giving away samples of our lactose-free Jack in the food court. Kablam! Welcome back to Kablam! Home of the Great Buy. How great? How does $49.99 sound for this one-of-a-kind actor's chair? That's right. Now you can keep your Heiner in the very same recliner used by yours truly. Now, I know what you're thinking. Henry and June realize they have no future in showbiz, so they're desperately cashing in while they still can. You. Well, let me assure you, nothing could be further from the truth. We're only parting with these priceless artifacts because we want to give something back to you, the viewer. Call now. Our operator is standing by. Come on, what's the matter with you people? This is a really good chair! Ahem. <clears throat> How about we move on to our next item? <laughs> this attractive set of 8-ounce styrofoam cups. Tell you what, I'll give you five bucks for everything I can fit in my truck. Sold! At least somebody appreciates these one-of-a-kind museum-quality treasures. This'll keep me warm all winter. Hey, I can use this for kindling. Hey, dudes, Larry here. Everyone knows Bug Steak is the coolest band on the planet. Why? Because they rock, because they're dope, and because they really know what it's like to be a kid. Down with the kids, we're just like you. We understand what you're going through. We're down with the kids, we know where it's at. The kids are fat, the kids are tight, the kids are all that. What's this, Loser Palooza? Hey guys, check this out. Bug Steak is playing a live show this weekend. Oh, dude, it's a hundred bucks a ticket. That's like two months' allowance. No problemo, Lester. I'll just email Bug Steak at their official website. I'm sure they'll give us a break once they understand it's for the kids. Incoming message from bugsteak.com. Okay, here we go. Get real, dude. Charity Rock ain't where it's at. Cop up the cash or sign off, slacker? Sign Bug Steak? Uh, I, I, I can't believe it. Never mind, Larry. Come on, let's go over to my place. We just got premium cable. Yeah, sure, whatever. How dare they treat Larry like that? Sounds like those pop chart prima donnas need to be taken down a peg. Room service. Righteous! Hey, dude. Who are you? And where's our caviar croissants? Huh. Talk about lifestyles of the rich and lazy. No wonder you guys have lost touch with your fans. That's bogus, babe. Check out our lyrics. Bugstate's totally down with the young generation. Okay, then prove it. I dare you. No, I double dare you to spend one night at a real kid's house. You're on! Mom, I brought some friends over. Can they stay the night? Sure, honey. Larry's staying over at Lyle's tonight so they can sleep in his room. Dinner's on the table in five minutes. Oh, my. Look at the state of those hands. Come on now. Scrub, scrub, scrub on the double. Righteous! I'm starving. What's in the pot, babe? Mind your manners, young man. That's Mrs. Cooper to you. As a matter of fact, you boys are very lucky. It's my Friday night special. 
mystery meat casserole. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of a joke I once heard. A pork chop walks into a restaurant and asks to see a menu. Uh, wait, no, maybe it was a rump roast. Uh, no, it was definitely a pork chop. Anyway. So the pork chop turns to the liver sausage and says, Hey, buddy, pleased to meet ya. <laughs> Get it? Meat. <laughs> um. Mom, can we go outside and play basketball now? Yeah, cool. Righteous. Not so fast, young lady. Don't forget your chores. Aw, oh, Mom. Come on, Loopy. It won't take long. I'm sure your little friends will help you. Excuse me, missus. Can we watch some telly? I don't know. Can you? Uh, wh what do you mean? Well, just look at that hair. I'm surprised you can see anything through that mess. Luckily, I've got just a solution. No! And welcome back to the semi-finals of the annual Turnip Growers Tournament. Oh, what a glorious morning! Oh, what a wonderful day! Wakey, wakey, boys! Rise and shine! But, dude, it's only 6 a.m. That's right! The early bird catches the worm! We can't take it no more, babe! You were right! We had no idea how tough it is being a kid! You've taught us a lesson we'll never forget, Loopy Dude. Is there any way we can, like, return the favor? Well, since you ask... Hey, Larry, Mom said you've got to clean your room right now. Whatever. Hey, Larry, this one's for you, dude. One, two, three, four. Endless chores getting up early. Dad's in charge of what's on TV. Mom's made mystery meat for me. I've got a lame haircut and I look tweeby. Being a kid, it ain't easy. Being a kid can be real rough. I'm telling the truth, you've got to believe me. Being a kid, it's tough. Well, Kablammers, it's certainly been an eye-opening and room-clearing episode of Kablam. Dudes, awesome news. I got a TV gig. Really? That's great! Congratulations! Henry, you know what this means? If John Stamos can have a second chance in showbiz, so can we! You're right. We've got nothing to worry about. Phew, that's a load off. So, John, what's the show? I don't know. Some cartoon show. Turn in pages or something. I guess the old hosts are getting canned. Yeah, they spend too much time trying to cash in on their fame. <laughs> well, Kablammers, that'll do it for us today. Henry, June, do you copy? Henry and June. You've got a couple of trespasses in the vicinity of the donut table. We're on it. Henry and June out. Look on the bright side, June. We're still in show business. Hey, you kids! Those donuts are studio property! Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network.